Welcome back to the Composite Panel Builder Demonstration Series. And in this session, we're going to talk about creating panels along an arc. To do that, we're going to use our drop panels along the arc icon. We select the arc, and it pulls up the properties of the arc uh, up here. Then uh, we have the options of you know setting the range screen. If it's not set, then it's defaulted to a wet system or route and return. We can pick panel colors that we want the panels to be uh, designed under their premise and we could set the uh, type of panel if it's curved concave convex and curved uh, if it's not selected it means that it'll have a flat edge along the panel and then also we can set the, me uh, the method of layout if we want to just squeeze in let's say 10 panels inside the uh, uh, inside the arc uh, length or if we want a particular size of panel and let's do it by size and what we can do down here is we can say we want all the panels to be 36 inch panels and then we can calculate the fill it'll tell us that we have uh, two panels on the edge that are five inch or so and then the rest are 36 so let's go ahead and draw those and we have straight edge panels here um, but we want curved panels so let's go back to the thing erase this extra line we'll go back and this time design it as curved and we're gonna say curved panels and we want them to be eh, let's say 42 inch panels calculate that and now they're gonna be on the convex side let's draw those panels there we go now we got um, basically three panels in the center that are all the same size and then the two on the ends are identical size but um, just as filler panels now that we've done that well, let's go ahead and project those or create the elevation view of what those uh, arc panels are going to look like and that's done using this little utility we're going to convert them to plan so now we got it and if you have where you need the panels uh, to be different sizes along this arc you can use it you can reverse this process and use the arc wall projection utility and that's in another discussion but let's go ahead and build some panels here so what we're going to do is project the plan onto the section and we'll start with C1 and there we go we got our panels so that's how easy it is to do that now, the only thing left is we have to link the uh, the detail using our quick links plans and sections and that's this utility right here and we grab that and then we can just window around these six panels because those are the ones that are, are continuous and then the outside edges are going to get this detail and we'll do that also quick links plans and sections we'll grab that and basically these four now that's it one more thing we can do is come in and modify the property of the detail by using the edit tool and instead of having an extra arc piece built with these curved panels we're just going to have the program notch them and that's what we're going to do save now let's just run c4 and 3 c4 and 3 so we're going to build those two panels c4 and 3 and we're going to draw them that's how easy it is and then we get our little notch pattern at the top so that's how you do uh, panels along an arc uh, in the DDK CAD composite panel builder software until next time